Takafumi Hori was an internet entrepreneur. He was a maverick businessman worth hundreds of millions. And now, he's a convict. Hori has been convicted of hiding a multi-million dollar loss from his investors. But he isn't going away quietly, as our social media contributor Toshi Maeda found out. Takafumi Hori used to head an internet portal company called LiveDoor and rattle corporate Japan with his aggressive takeover bids and celebrity lifestyle. He wrote provocative books with titles like Making Money is Everything. He wore blue jeans instead of suits to business meetings. Everything he did seemed to offend Japan's buttoned down business community. But the maverick entrepreneur has to spend the next two and a half years in prison after he was found guilty of accounting fraud. A prison term is pretty harsh for white collar crime in Japan, and that probably has to do with the fact Horia remained unapologetic, unlike many others convicted in Japan who often plead guilty and show remorse. <laughs> Let's take a look at how Horie, once considered Japan's internet icon, used the internet on the day he went to prison. He and his supporters documented the hours leading up to his incarceration. Wearing a protest t-shirt saying go to jail, 38-year-old Horie gets a haircut to change his hair to a mohawk before leaving his apartment. The camera follows Horie as he turns himself up at the prosecutor's office. Before entering the building, he gives a final speech. He tells the media he looks forward to losing weight and reading many books while in prison, and promises to come back looking more fit and refreshed. And Horie stays connected to the web even from inside the prison. How? Through his supporters. Horie's Twitter entries are now less timely and responsive, but he's still tweeting. The only visible difference may be that he has added vertical bars to his profile picture to match the reality of being behind bars. The way he tweets is that he handwrites letters and gives them to his supporters during visitation. Then the supporters break up Horia's text into short sentences and put them on Twitter for his more than half a million followers. Here are some of his tweets from inside the prison. Talking about his mohawk hair, he said, I thought it would upset prosecutors, but they actually liked it. They said my hair helped them spot me in a crowd. Another tweet reads, I've written seven pages. When I arrived at the lobby of the prosecutor's office, I got depressed to be honest, but as I started writing, I started feeling better. But not everything is on Twitter. The complete text of his prison letters is available only on his weekly email newsletter, which is a paid subscription with over 10,000 members. With his newsletter subscription fees alone, Horia makes more than $1 million a year, and that's no matter where he is. I'm Toshimaira in Tokyo. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world. To learn more, visit linktv.org.